Hello, I'm Bongani Mia. I'm a Chief Executive of Agro Capital Advisory Services. Apart from the uh, corporate finance uh, office that we run, we're responsible for a portfolio of companies that include Grow Capital Financial Services, CMI, ATS, and the new logistics business called Continuum. Uh, with me today is Jasmine. She's our ethics officer. She's here to help us unpack the new initiative that we started. So over to Jasmine. Um, in response to some of the results that we received from the ethics survey, we've noticed that it's important to take our employees through a couple of training initiatives and ethics awareness campaigns. So to that end, this interview acts as the beginning of that ethics campaign. So I would like to begin this interview with a very broad question and ask Bongani, in his opinion, what is his definition of unethical behavior? In my mind, ethical behavior is actually steeped in our values. So one of our leading values at AFGRI, not just called Capital Advisor Services, is integrity. And in my mind, that is the anchor to how we expect our people to behave and how they treat our stakeholders. So it's not winning at all costs, but we care about winning, but winning correctly. You mentioned integrity. What is your definition then of integrity? Saying what you do and doing what you say. And I'd like to add to that the fact that you, anything that you do is not in secrecy. So if it's covered in darkness, you probably shouldn't be doing it. So from your perspective, what benefits does an employee derive or the organization derive from being ethical? So that, that's a good question. So. We as a business, uh, we serve our stakeholders in, in some way, be it the employees, shareholders, and clients. So in, my, in our view, ethics help people trust in the organization because I know what you're going to do, I know what you stand for, and therefore there's no two-timing in your, in your dealings with any of the stakeholders. So for us, ethics are far more important than just nice to have it's actually knowing that because of the ethical behavior, we've got a relationship that works, you know, first internally and outside with our clients. So in essence, I believe what you're trying to say is that ethical behavior helps an organization maintain its good reputation. Yeah. And maintaining that good reputation then enables it to further more business relationships, which in the long run benefits the employee as well. Yeah. So if an employee is faced with an ethical dilemma, an ethical dilemma we could say is, Whichever outcome is a negative outcome. So how does an employee then go about making such a decision? So the, these are the, the tricky ones, right? So you get, you get situations where it's really a difficult call to make based on your own understanding and making that alone. What I think may be practical steps in dealing with such things is you need to talk to someone. You have to talk to either a colleague, someone senior than you, and stuff. Again, going back to the veil of secrecy that we touched on, if it's something that you need to do alone, nobody needs to see, there's a problem with that. That said, if you were stuck in an airport somewhere and there was no one to call, I would uh, err in the side of caution. You know, at any given time, it's easy for us to lose our money, but it's totally different when you lose your reputation. Each of us is part of an organization which is part of, we have a support structure in place. And if you are in a situation where you are unable to make a decision, we are here to assist. Um, what Mbongani and I have also instituted is ethics ambassadors who will be introduced to you in due course. These are the people you go to when you're faced with a difficult situation. They might not necessarily have all the answers, but they're there to guide you through coming to a conclusion. I believe Bongani always has an open door policy. Um, you can reach out to him and discuss these things with him. But I believe we each as employees have a responsibility to speak up and to act in a way that not only maintains the future of this business, but maintains our jobs which are important to us. Mm -hmm.